Welcome to the chemical workshop. In this video we will going to make some silicone dioxide for our later videos. Our plan is to get sodium silicate, better known as water glass or liquid glass, react it with HCl and decompose it to silicone dioxide. So let's start with 100 ml of our sodium silicate solution. The MSDS says that it's 35 to 43% sodium silicate by weight. Doing molar calculations isn't worth here. We used the double stoichiometric quantity of HCl and we still had to add more. We'll explain later why. Get a jar or a beaker you don't really care about. Pour 100 ml of the solution you made and wash your graduated cylinder with water. Water is not a problem here. You can pour your acid directly into the jar if you have the temperature under control. For hydrochloric acid it's not a problem but we guess you can try other acids. Also we used 30 mils but it was too little. Now, add the acid into the jar, a precipitate will form, it is silicone dioxide or silicic acid. We will convert it later to silicone dioxide if it's silicic acid. Now the pain in the butt starts, add a lot of water, stir, add water, stir, and also check the pH, if it's basic like in our case, add some HCl until it's acidic. The liquid glass solution we bought contains most likely some other stuff like hydroxides or other basic components, that's why we had to add more acid, HCl is cheap to us, but I guess if you add stoichiometric quantity it will work too and your yield won't suffer that much, let us know in the comments. Break up the lumps and make a slurry if you can, if not then it's fine, just filter the solution. Wash it with water and let the solids dry but if your filtration takes forever there is a quicker way. Basic filtration was way too slow so we just dumped the whole solution in a dish, pick out the big lumps and place it on a sieve, after that filter the solution through sieve, if it seems clogged then dump the content on a piece of printing paper or a filter. We tried to dry it on a hot plate in a dish, it splattered like crazy and made a nice mess, you need some strong sodium hydroxide solution to clean it up, no solvent will work. So, the best way we found out is to let the solids dry on a filter paper and after that heat dry and crush it somehow, we used a dish for that with a weird piece of glass, you can also use a bottom of a beaker. You can maybe see the steam coming off, just crush it and when it's dry pass it through a sieve so you only have the fine particles. Now you'll be left with a fine white powder, I prefer washing it with some HCl and maybe few solvents like acetone to purify it and after that crush and heat dry it again. So here it is, silicone dioxide, also we didn't calculate our terrible yield because it really is terrible and we currently need a bit better scale. So here you go quite pure silicone dioxide. That's it for today, we will see you soon again.